Hello guys, this is lesson number 10 out of 17 from my course about view inertia in Laravel. Topic of today will be validation, how to validate on the backend, how to show the errors on the front end with inertia, and also how to prevent multi-submit, so double clicking the submit button. It's actually really easy in inertia. And if you're watching this whole series on YouTube, by now you should get the feeling of how I structure the courses. So if you want more courses from me, currently I have 28 courses, and the best deal to get that is yearly membership. It's much, much cheaper than purchasing courses individually one by one. So check out that. And by purchasing the membership, you're actually supporting this YouTube channel because then I have more time to shoot free videos here on YouTube instead of spending time on marketing my courses. Now let's dive into the today's topic. Now let's take care of the form validation and this will be a relatively short lesson because Inertia Helper will help a lot. So first let's create on the backend instead of this request, let's create a form request class. I'm a big fan of form request class validations in Laravel. So we just do PHP artisan make request store post request like this. Then we replace the request here with store post request autocomplete by my PHP storm. So we don't need that request here anymore on top. And then inside of that store post request, we return authorize as true and provide the rules for our validation, which is title required and content required like this. And let's for the purpose of demonstration, let's have a title of minimum three symbols or something like that. And then in the controller, we don't need to provide those fields anymore. We can just use request validated because it returns all the fields that are listed in here, title and content. That's exactly what we need. So on the back end, we're ready. On the front end in the create view, since we're using use form here, all we need to do actually is define a property. So props, and we need to add errors object like this. So you don't need to catch errors. You don't need to define errors in detail. All you need to do is define this and then the use form helper will take care of everything for you. So if the error happens, we will show the error message. And to do that under each of the inputs, we will do div, for example, class text red 600, for example, then inside we will have errors related to that specific field, which is title form title corresponds to errors title. And let's add a V if, if we have that errors title like this. And let's copy and paste it underneath the text area as well. So paste here, content and content. We save, build successful, let's try it out. Refresh the page, save post, and the title field is required, the content field is required. If I add a few symbols here, save post, title must be at least three characters. So the validation works. Of course, for simple required rules, you can use a simple HTML property like required here or something. But for the demonstration of validation in general in Vue.js, I wanted to show you this logic. And also another feature of that form helper is that we can easily disable the submit button to prevent multiple submits. So for example, if your backend takes a while to process that, for example, in the post controller here, let's add a sleep of two seconds, for example. And now if we submit our form with fake filler Chrome extension, for example, let's take a look at the network tab. We click save post, click again, click again, click again. And within two seconds, we have multiple requests to the form and we have five posts added. So to prevent that, we can disable the button. And this can be done with disabled equals form processing. And as you can see, it is even suggested by my PHP storm. So we save, build successful. And now if we refresh our form, again, fake filler Chrome extension, save post. And no matter how much I click, there was only one submit and only one new post. So this is another feature of form helper with inertia.